What is up, YouTube? Chris Hayden here, Reticulous Reptiles. I am in a fantastic place right now, guys. And it's not what you thought. I'm in Las Vegas. <laughs> Hope all is well with everybody. Guys, I am staying at a fantastic place. I am staying at the Vidara. Okay, this is an MGM resort. It is absolutely amazing side you guys <laughs> let's go up to my room so I can show you that real quick there we go welcome to my little corner suite for the couple of days. So this is my kitchen and dining room. Not too bad, right? Okay, you have a dishwasher, obviously sink. You do have a wet bar, obviously it's not free. Okay, you got a little uh, kitchen stove, micro, full fridge and freezer. Not bad so far, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In-house. <laughs> Here is my living room, guys. <laughs> Hold on. It doesn't end there because there is my bedroom. <laughs> oh. This is just absolutely awesome, guys. Okay, still not done. <laughs> now it's into the bathroom. Nice full-size tub, double sink, nice full-size shower. Guys, there is everything I could possibly need in here, okay? But there's one thing that tops everything off, okay? Not only do I have a view, from my bathroom. I have one from my bedroom as well that connects to the bathroom. Oh, and by the way, my living room. also connects. <laughs> oh, by the way, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Guys, I have a complete panoramic view from my corner suite. Welcome to Las Vegas, guys. You're watching Reticulous Reptiles. Guys, for this trip, I'm going to be taking you guys to Shark Reef over at Mandalay Bay. Last time you guys were with me, we went to a little aquarium called SeaQuest. I was really excited about that one, guys, because it was interactive. You got to actually do stuff with the animals. So, let's go take a look at Shark Reef. I know it's a much more funded aquarium. I know that it is not engaging, though, as far as, like, being able to touch and see the animals. But let's go see if it offsets it with the just ma massive tanks that it has and everything like that. Let's go take a look, shall we? All right, guys. So, this morning, I decided I was going to have a nice breakfast. I won't mention the place by name, but uh, 
they were expensive pancakes. <laughs> um, and the coffee was pretty expensive too. And both of them were good, don't get me wrong. Um, just a little pricey, usually much more than I'd be willing to spend for something like that. Uh, and uh, so as a result, I am not uh, taking a ride to Mandalay Bay from um, my hotel, which is essentially the Aria, just across the street, next to Cosmopolitan. <laughs> so I'm walking to Mandalay Bay, and uh, I guess I found my way to Luxor, but um, I found my way to, like, all of the employee entrances. So now I'm going back into um, uh, the Excalibur. There you go. There's a bridge right here which I need to get into. So, uh, bear with me. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. I'm in Luxor, and I'm lost. Normally, there's an escalator that takes me straight to Mandalay Bay, but the escalator's down. So the guy said, go down to this restaurant. I found the restaurant. He said, turn, on, turn right on it. And then take, and then and then just keep going. Well, eventually the hallway ended, and there were some elevators that took me to hallways that were hotel rooms. I just walked up, I don't know, two flights of stairs or something like that. I'm in some shopping center right now, so hopefully I'm in the right area. <laughs> I finally found it, guys. Here's that escalator that is not working. You can only go down. You can't come up guys uh once again okay I, another pit stop <laughs> um i uh it is what was it it was 90 degrees at uh like 10 a.m guys so uh pit stop for a nice frozen uh daiquiri here don't judge and uh, drink responsibly all right guys i'm finally here they don't let drinks in I forgot about that. I totally just, it spaced me that they don't allow drinks inside and you can't, you can't, like, they won't hold on to your drink either. They just, they don't have anywhere to put it. So, um, trying to figure it out, guys. I'm thinking, all right, I'm, I'm not throwing this away. I'm going to have to drink this before I go in. <laughs> what is up, guys? I am inside here at the aquarium and the first thing on the ballot is the very rare golden crocodile who's coming up for a quick breath it looks just tucks his nose up there grabs a couple of breaths <laughs> and then he's back under guys that's all it takes, and now he'll be down, guys, for a couple of, uh, he'll be down for, for 20, 30, 40 minutes sometimes. I mean, he'll be down there just off of that alone. They can slow their heart rate down so much, guys. They're absolutely amazing critters. Let's see what else is in here, shall we? And, of course, guys, that is the world's largest lizard. The Komodo Dragon, guys. This thing is absolutely awesome. Okay. If you see it as a child, such as this little guy right here, you'll notice that they are just completely fascinated by these things. I mean, these things are huge. And they have been found out to be venomous, guys. They are the largest venomous lizard on this planet. So they are absolutely amazing creatures. All right, in this next enclosure, guys, looks like a bunch of fish, turtle. But as you can see right there in the back, there is a Burmese python as well as one way in the back over there. As you guys know, I have a Burmese python back at home. These guys are absolutely awesome, guys. <laughs> guys, these are amazing fish. Look at, look at that stingray. Oh my god, guys, these are Matoro stingrays. These are one of the few, very few freshwater stingrays, guys. The catfish, of course, freshwater as well. These animals are absolutely in incredible shape. Those Matoro stingrays. 
Oh, guys, I'm gonna have to get an aquarium. <laughs> Guys, those were black tip reef sharks right there. Here's some little baby hammerheads. Every time I see these guys, I want an aquarium so bad, guys. Like, it's hard to believe. They, they estimate, guys, that upwards of 80 to 90% of the world's sharks have been hunted. 80 to 90%. It's just, it's absolutely amazing that you could take something like this and start hunting them to the brink of extinction. Absolutely amazing creatures, guys. The size of this enclosure, the animals in this enclosure, everything about this place is stupendous. Okay, look at this. There, guys. <laughs> there is a quick little tour of the aquarium here at Mandalay Bay, guys. Shark Reef. What an amazing place, guys. Okay, thank you so much for following me here. As always, I absolutely love bringing you guys along. Please, please come visit this place. Show them some love. Show these animals the attraction and, and the dedication that they deserve. Once again, here at Reticulous Reptiles, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, take care of somebody else, and I'll talk to you guys next week.